wolf cut time! Will I be able to successfully help these people cut their own hair? We shall see. Up first, we have a video by Caroline Turner. So for those that know me, you know that I have bangs. They are hiding in here somewhere. I have washed my hair. Like, not washed my hair because we're going to dye it afterwards, but I have... Uh, wet it thoroughly. Oh, Caroline, why don't you just serenade me? Why don't you with that phrase you just said you wet your hair? Oh, I love it to hear it because most people refuse to for no f***ing reason. Okay, I have a hairbrush comb and I have my hair cutting scissors. Oh my god. She has a hairbrush, a comb, hair cutting scissors. What more could I ask for in life? I'm going to be doing a wolf cut today to try and help my bangs grow out and not just be awkward little pieces at the front of my head. So we're gonna try and do kind of like layered shag. I'm going for Taylor Swift red. That's kind of what I'm going for. Oh, okay. That, in my opinion, was one of Taylor Swift's best looks. I love that idea for you. That is gonna look so good with your bangs, so good with your face shape. Even the color. I mean, that color on Taylor was like stunning. So when I was, I don't know, probably about 16 or so, I did actually do a wolf cut. So for today, we're going to be kind of replicating what I did back then. We're also going to be kind of following Brad Mondo's tutorial. We have some prior experience with cutting a wolf cut. We're also following my tutorial. I love that. I love that we're mixing those two together. I guess I'd probably rather you just follow mine because I don't know what yours is going to be. And I see seen some wild shit. Your girl needs to grow out her bangs, and so this is gonna be the best way to do it. The crazy thing about this is, is that my hair finally looks the way that I want it to. Like, it's the right length, it's the right style, it looks super cute, it's got all the volume that I like in it, and now we're going and cutting my hair. Seems like an actual awful idea. If you like your hair, then why are we cutting it? Just wondering, if you can answer it, let me know. When I would say that it looks perfect, because I need to have problems in my life. I get that, I do the same thing to myself. I cut my hair when it looks good, because I'm bored, and I want it to look different. You know, it's like fun. Gotta keep it fresh and exciting. Okay, I think that is about as center as it's gonna get for just about my whole Head. Okay, so since she's pulling the hair to the center of the crown of her hair, is that the right word? The center of her back of her head. We'll go with that today. Don't know where my head is. I can't think. Okay, she's pulling her hair to right here, and that's gonna give her short layers all around this section. Instead, if she pulled it forward and cut her hair here, she would get shorter bangs, but she already has bangs, okay? So she doesn't need that. She just needs more layering around the crown region. So that's a great idea. Who taught you that? We're gonna go ahead and get rid of, I don't know, probably about that much. This is the length of my hair. This is what's in the back. This is like all the way back here. So we're not gonna be losing any length. I'm just trying to get in those layers. I'm so glad that she knows that. She knows that she takes a piece from back here and brings it up to the ponytail. If it's shorter than the ponytail, then she can cut anywhere in that region and she won't be getting rid of length. We're cutting not a lot, which I'm kind of disappointed about. You better do more. Can y'all even see me? Yeah, you can totally see this. I don't know. I can't really see what she's doing and I'm a little nervous. You need to do a good amount. If you want to get layers in there, guys, you need to cut a lot. A half an inch? This is not gonna cut it, baby. Go big or go home. There we go. Obviously, that is not all we're gonna do. I actually think that I'm gonna go back in and just... I took off a joke of an inch. You did. Let's do more. So I think I'm gonna have to be a little bit more ballsy and I'm not losing any length. Oh, my hand is cramping. And that's another inch. One more time. Another inch. Okay, we're at like three inches now. So we are getting somewhere, thankfully. Oh! We're gonna go ahead and take this down. See how this looks. And that did basically nothing. Exactly. You need to take off a lot of length or you're not gonna see the effects of the wolf gut. Come on, you guys. God, can I keep my shirt on today? We got our ponytail back. We're gonna go ahead and do another inch or so. And again, more hair getting caught. Guys, next time just do it all at once, you know? Just take off a lot. I know that I'm cutting off like basically a non-existent amount of hair, but that is the way that you need to go with this. You just small, slow baby steps. I actually am happy that she's taking off a little bit at a time because if she makes a mistake, it's only a little mistake. So she's kind of like testing it out, seeing where it is, and then cutting 
cutting more instead of doing it all at once. But you can do it definitely a little bit more than that at once because this is going to take forever. Now this is the step that Brad Mondo says is the most important step. What did I say? What's the most important step? Comb. We're going to do a center part. I did probably say that. I do love a comb. And then we're going to do a part down this ear and down this ear. And we're going to over direct in both directions. And that should be giving us face framing curtain bangs? Face framing layers. Close. You almost got it. Or is it just face framing layering? Yes. Okay, not absolutely perfect, but um, you know, Brad Mondo, eat your heart out. No, before I proceed, I am actually going to go back and rewatch that part from Brad Mondo's video just because he does say that it is the most important step and so I don't want to screw it up. Look at her. Like, come on. She's actually watching and comprehending and re-watching before she then goes and does it herself instead of just doing it. She's really taking her time and I appreciate it. Basically what it is is that you take one part, you pull it over, you find where all of the short stuff is, which is right here. So we'll cut from about here trim all of this off, bring all of this over, and then trim from there again. She was cutting a lot of hair there. I hope that looks good. That is what it looks like when you try to part it with your freaking finger. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what it looks like when you part it with a comb. Yes. Okay, getting rid of more length. We're doing the other side. We're almost to the finish line. And I feel like this is gonna look really good on her. Yes! All right, now that I've just gone in and done all that work, I'm gonna go in ugh, and put it in the high ponytail one more time just because after watching Brad Mondo's video, he takes off a lot more length than I did. Exactly. Take off more. I'm going from cutting off like this much hair, the next layer is here. I don't want to cut off that much hair. Oh, that's scary. Okay, I'm gonna cut off like half of this. Just commit to it and do it. She made the last cut, finally. And we're gonna see the final product. Woo! Girl, she fluffy. I got some good face framing stuff. So if I wanna put my hair up, that is exactly what that should look like. I love that, here for it. It looks so much different. She has a more rounded haircut and it looks so cute with her bob. Yes, you did an amazing job. I love it. I probably might go back in and do just a little bit more adjusting. I can't really see any of the layers in the back. Although I know for a fact that they're there. Like I did go back. They're there, they just don't really show up when I'm looking for them. But all in all, I'm a happy camper. It's a little bit bulky in some areas and there's kind of like some hard lines of where the layers sit, but just gotta refine it a little bit if you can. If you can't, I just leave it where it is. But it looks amazing and congrats. You slayed that. Up next, we have a video by Evelina Forsell. I've seen this literally all over YouTube, all over TikTok. It's this method where you put all of your hair up in a bun and you cut it straight across. And that should make layers and like a shag, not a mullet maybe, but something like similar. Oh my God, she is going to look so good with a more like shaggy layered haircut. Yes, I cannot wait. So I have a brush. I have my actual hair cutting scissors, a comb, and then thinning scissors. Oh, we have some thinning shears here. Ooh, pulling out the big guns. But this is from a dog brand and I use it to cut Tebow. Okay, so they're dog cutting shears. Okay, it'll work. I actually don't know the difference, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We are going to start off with step one and that is just to pull all of my hair up to my apex, the um, highest point of my head. All right, look at this, how thick is my hair? That was a good pony with no bumps. The less bumps, the better. Just gonna pull it all the way up. How much should I cut then? Now the moment of truth, how much is she going to take off? Because you need to take off a lot to have it look like anything. Like a lot, like multiple inches. I think I'm just gonna cut off like right here or something. I'm just gonna cut it like this. I think that's easier. Oh, that's a lot. Oh yes, that's good though. Was it just me or is she getting longer as she cuts? <laughs> She's like cutting in a round shape or something. I don't know. Let's cut off all of this. Another inch. Yes. 
I win. Now it's down to here. We have all of this hair. And we're going in for some more. Keep going, girl. Come on. And now, finally, for the result. I mean, if this works to just get some layers in there, it's the easiest thing I've ever done in my life, I think. Okay, let's see it. Middle parting. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we actually have some layers. Oh, wait. This looks so good. Here's a layer. I didn't have that before. Let me do a little bit more. Everybody always goes in for more. Just do that cut. I don't know. I just want to see like somebody really take off a lot of length right in the beginning. It's just so much more exciting that way. Let me just take away like maybe two, three centimeters right here. Once again, let's take it out. Whew. I mean, I feel like the length is still there, which I'm so happy about. Wait, this is like one of the best looking wolf cuts ever without her doing like anything. And these layers around my face is pretty much the same length without me having to do anything. And I have these layers like all the way up to there. We're gonna do the uh, last touches that Brad Mondo, Brad, if you're watching this, which you're not, why are you not reacting to my videos where I'm dyeing my hair with blueberries and turmeric and whatever. I don't know, but I'm here now. I'm glad we are have been acquainted. Your look is killing me. Like, I love it. It is so good. I'm gonna section out this part from my ear up. I do have bangs, so this is not gonna be exactly like the tutorial, but what he does is that he pulls the hair like this and cuts off straight. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, those dead ends just falling to the floor. It's so satisfying for me. I don't know if I should have done that. <laughs> Brad said to do a bit of a curtain bangs. I mean, the volume that I've just gotten. My hair is looking amazing. If you too want layers in your hair or you want like a shot cut, an amazing way to get layers. It's so easy to do like, and it just turned out great. Okay, her hair looks like actually perfect. That looks dope. And she made that look really easy cause it like was, but still, that's probably one of the best results I've ever seen with the wolf cut. <sighs> Yes. Up next, we have a video by Kara Getson. I have been on a Brad Mondo kick for the last 24 hours. Never watched his videos before. Welcome. The top layer of my hair is as long as the rest of my hair. I hear people with thin hair need layers to make it look bigger and thicker, but then I also hear that people with thin hair can't have layers because it makes their hair look too thin. You gotta get the good middle ground there. Don't make the layers too short or else your length will be very fine, very thin looking. And you should add layers because it will make the top look more full. So you gotta just don't do too short of layers, do enough, but do layers, you know? I'm gonna take it step by step. I love to hear it. God, you guys, oh, this is gorgeous today. Okay, step number one is to wet our hair. I'm going to distribute our friend the water. And what he says is you have to get your hair into a perfect ponytail almost right above your ears. Okay. We wet the hair again. Oh, you guys are gonna make me cry with just the following directions. Oh, and that ponytail was snatched. That is exactly what we want to make this haircut really perfect. I want to cut off, I guess, a significant bit about that much. Oh my, that's a lot of hair though, but I do want layers. Oh no, my poor hair, what am I doing? What am I doing? You're doing the damn thing is what you're doing and you're doing it good. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do the straight line. Oh boy. Oh boy. Dude, she is freaking out. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Oh no. All right. Mom, I'm sorry. Okay, and it's definitely not any shorter. No matter what kind of hair you have, if you pull your hair up to the top and you cut three inches off, you're not gonna cut the length. You're over directing the hair from down here by this much. So if you cut this much hair off your hair, you won't touch your length. I don't recommend doing that much, but you don't have to worry about it. I don't have a comb, so I did bring this. It's not a pen, it's a knitting needle. <laughs> I'll take it. Better than a pen. I've seen people use pens and they always draw on their scalp with it. It's just not a good idea. All right, so let's see what kind of layers I got. It doesn't look insane. Oh, <gasps> do you see this? I see a layer. We're gonna take this part, over direct it over. Okay, we're moving on to step two, where she over directs the hair to both sides. Uh, 
this section right here. I will need to cut up on, I guess. It's just hair. It's just hair, except when you cut too much off and you have to grow it back and it takes like three years and it's so annoying and painful and like it's exactly what I'm going through right now. And I just want my hair to grow. <sighs> I want long hair. And it um, grows back. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was a lot. Oh my god. He wasn't kidding. That actually does it. Stop. You guys are so sweet today. I love when my tutorials like work well for people. <laughs> Obviously, that's always the goal, but sometimes it's a little scary watching you guys do this stuff. So I guess this is the difference that you can see between what was done. Let's try this. I'll go like this. And is there like a huge difference? No, not really. Oh my god. I look cool as fuck. Yes, you do. You look cool as fuck. Why are we still cutting them? What's going on here? All right, I think that's all I'm gonna do with this. It could be just my curl. Put the scissors down, call it quits. It looks good. Let's stop while we're ahead. I have pretty much done it. I like it a lot, but do I wanna go shorter? Please don't tell me this is where it all goes wrong. Please, no. Oh, this is really dumb of me to be doing without my glasses. All right, I think I should stop. That's probably a good idea for you to, yeah, just put the scissors down. Okay, did I keep the length? Keep the length. Length is the same. No problem with the length. I think this was a good idea. I think so too, but we'll see in a second once it's dry. Okay, so this is how it came out. I could not be upset. I don't know what it looks like in the back yet. I haven't seen... I think these pieces right here that are, you see them falling to the front, I want to thin these out a bit. This looks so cute on you! Oh, I love it! This is the finished product. My shortest layers, like this, goes down to about here. So I have them starting about at like the half of my head. Until now, this was Kara cutting her hair. I hope you enjoyed it, because I sure did. I love a super shaggy cut on you. I feel like you can really pull it off, especially with your glasses. Incredible. Now I want to see you with some like sickening color, like pastel pink. Like, give us a moment. Well, those people literally did an incredible job. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one. And you're welcome for giving you a fucking badass tutorial that actually works. If you guys wanna check out my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodelhair.com. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.